Welcome to Fire Emblem Hecno's Shadows of Helentia. I've spent all my money on items. I have tried this chapter already. And just a full disclosure, I just want to mention that. I died horribly. However, I am going to try a new strategy in which I don't soft lock myself and uh, hopefully it will actually work. I don't know if it will, but I'm recording in case it does work. I'll be very happy if it does. We have this lady. I think she's a lady. She looks like one uh, stone-faced kind of. Who could she be? It's final. Yes, this I think is the final boss of this chapter, and also the game, hopefully. And the path towards her involves walking along this crystalline uh, thing, which is symmetrical. I'm looking at the left side of the map right now, and it just goes all the way down and up and down to here, and our units are split between two sides of the map. That's all there is to it. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just clear out these generals, our units on the sides, and uh, we're actually going to park our flyers here in the middle. Now you might be saying, wait, that's lava, what are you doing? Falcos can't survive lava. Well, Timmy, I don't care. Enemy is going to come to us, so all we have to do really is position ourselves near the stairs. And wait patiently for them to start coming down the stairs. And then we're going to save. Game save, keep playing. Of course! Of course we're gonna keep playing. Why wouldn't we stop? Why would we stop? That would be silly. We're gonna go ahead and kill you with Astra and the light sword. And kill you with triple Holgonon. Now, Triple, in case you're a first-time watcher, uh, you'd think, oh, he's casting the spell three times. Well, it does damage four times for some reason. On, on the third attempt, it just does an extra attack without the animation. I don't know why, and I don't really care. Uh, this is a Scob game. Scob Fire Emblem. Uh, Echnos of Halentia. Right? That's what I called it? Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna just triple you, too. So 58 to 41, then to 24, then to 7, and then suddenly 0. So that's how it works. That's very cool and interesting, but for now... We're going to just stick Medir here and uh, Forgettable Finn here and put you here. And we want to kill that sniper at some point. 
But for now, we're gonna just fly our flyers up against the staircase. That'll probably trigger the reinforcements, so we're gonna put Alec and Othan near our healer so that they can't she can't get attacked. See? The re the uh, reinforcement appeared on the stairs, and Othan's still holding his Devil Axe, so he dies. That's wonderful. Thank you, Othan. Very cool. Great job, Madeir. You did your job. It was uh, very well done. Excellent work. Now, we're going to just ignore that sniper for a minute. We're going to Astra you, get rid of you immediately. And we'll start working on you with Jormungandr, or sorry, Jormung, as it is in this game. Heal up Leaf. Put Finn in front of you. Triple you with Bulgan on again. Great. Now we're going to save the game. We're just going to fly as far away this mess as possible with our three Pegasus Knights. And we may as well just top off you. Okay, you're going to shoot Leaf. That's okay. And you are going to shoot Finn. That's also totally fine. I don't care about Finn. Now, we're going to put Tanya here and triple one last time. Pop her off once more. Uh, kill you. Great. We'll just top you off just in case. I don't think anyone else is going to appear, though, so we'll save the game. We're just going to keep flying our flyers over this lava here. I assume it's lava, because it's red. End the turn. Okay, a new enemy ap appeared out of thin air and shot Alec. In response, we're gonna just use pursuit again. Get ready for you. Then over here, we're gonna keep going north, flying towards final. Okay, you're going to shoot Leaf. 
some reason, instead of being called elites, the enemies here are called guard instead. It's only because they're guarding the Dark Dragon. Final. And uh, we're going to go ahead and heal Leaf up. Nothing else crazy going on here, it seems. We're, we're good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make another safety save. And start to approach the Dark Dragon. Final. I believe the Dark Dragon has an attack range of four, but works as a mage, essentially, so. We're going to not go into her range immediately. No, no other enemies to fight here, so we can just focus solely on the final boss. Final. The final boss. And uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. So... This is the range that she can't hit. Now we'll put one person here, one person here, one person here, and that should be sufficient. If, one, if someone gets hit at this point, we're going to need to reload. Okay, she can fight lack assist from this range. So, six must be the range then. Because, uh, that happened. And we're gonna need all three of them to make this work, so. Load, yes. Scroll back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six might be the safer play here. We can actually move in. With Lachesis, at least. And we can just use uh, Pursuit for the most hitting and use the Master Lance that we got here. And she's gonna do six damage if she hits, which she does not. But that's okay, because we're gonna get into plenty of combat with the Dark Dragon. Trust me on that. So we're going to scroll up to the top here, and we're going to just go here. Karen can do 10 twice. He's easily our biggest hitter, so hopefully she can keep hitting. See if you can do adept or not. Nope, you can't. Adept is just completely broken in this game. Which is fine because it's a scop game. So, I guess while we do this, I'm gonna give my opinions on this beautiful game by Scob. One thing I really like about the beautiful game of by Scob is the leveling up system. Where you get to uh, pick four stats that you want to raise. And you get them. You get one point each. This is, this is a great system because all of the stats have equal worth. For example, speed gives a slight amount of a void in a game where most of the enemies have over 50 uh, hit against you and often 100, regardless of how high your speed is. And compare that to SP, which allows you to do combat arts. Or strength, which increases the damage that you're able to do. Clearly, speed is equal in value to strength. Since speed only handles a void, 
in a situation where everyone can hit you, regardless of how high your speed is. And strength is just uh, very useful in doing damage, which you need to do in order to kill enemies with high defense. Another uh, beautiful thing about this game is how the maps are designed. The maps are designed to account for the fact that the game can't handle very large maps, so what it needs to do is you work with a smaller space, but make things very windy and uh, some might say tedious, but they're wrong. It's actually good game design to have maps that are winding and stick unmoving high defense enemies in choke points that you have to bait out slowly through long hallways. It's good because uh, it's good game design since it makes the, it makes the player uh, frustrated and potentially quit your game, which fans of games tend to do, is quit, quit games that they don't like. And uh, we just killed the final boss. He's gonna talk to us now, and Leaf is here. And Holin is like, what? There's a castle, my castle, presumably it was liquidated in the Great War. And I guess it's a bunch of rocks in space now. And we see the credits. Uh, Piao Club, I think is how you say that? Or is it uh, Piao? I don't know. Mr. Ling. Forever. Octopus. Mr. Huang. Chaotic Man. Grand Bear. Mr. Lee. Wealthy Boy. Fuzzy Mouse. Dream Eagle. Ability Cat. Rachel. Kicker. Miss Sling. Million Idea. Clever Girl. Mr. Huang. Didn't you already? Satisfactory. Happy Dog. at it? Do I have to press a button now, or do I just look at rocks? No. Oh. End. Wow. What amazing artwork. Yes, hello, Mr. Wong. Hi, yes, I'm actually recording the final episode right now. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you saw everything, that's great. Yeah. Oh, you didn't think I'd use that strategy, huh? Well, I did. I see. So I can expect them by 6 p.m.? Well, thank you so much. I'm really glad I'll be able to see my family again after all this time. Oh, no, the pleasure is all mine, Mr. Huang. Thank you so much. I really did enjoy it, 
Scob Fire Emblem. Is that what it's is that what you call it? Scob Fire Emblem? No, you just call it Fire Emblem uh Gaiden? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what it was called, sorry. Yeah, I know. I uh No no. No, the pleasure really it really is mine. I'm just just glad that I'll be able to see, you know, my wife and my, my my daughter again, and my mom and dad, and um, everyone else that you that you kidnapped. Yeah, no, no, I, I no hard feelings, man. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes every once in a while, you know. I I, I get it. I I mean, I've never made, I've never done what you you did to me to someone else. But um, anyway, have a good day. Thank you for watching while I was recording this. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one.